Dolores and Eileen. Yes, Barry. Does Kelly have much of a chance on Sunday night? I think Kelly is actually the most unique singer of the four going forward. When she sings, she consistently sounds like Kelly. And I think the other singers, when they sing, they sound like the artist that they're emulating or covering, you know. For me, that's the truth. Um, and Kelly's the youngest, so she has the youth on her side. She's 21 years old. And uh, it's kind of cosmic and weird that she's from Limerick and she grew up listening to me. And I was her on her um, piece of paper when she went in. I was her number one influence. And I think it's kind of cool that she's ended up being here in the final. So I think she certainly does have a really, 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 really top chance of going through. She's, she has great confidence herself. Yeah. That. Yes. And I like the fact that she's actually a lady and kind of like and a, a Limerick girl, especially she's a, a Limerick kind girl. Of girl. As opposed to Jamelia's act, perhaps? No, no, actually, no. She's a nice little girl as well, actually, that way. She's properly. No, but some of the girls that Keen had on his team, he just tarted them up and he made them do erotic dancing and all that crap. And it just, to me, that's so not cool. It's not feminist. It's not cool for women. We shouldn't have to fall prey to the victimization of, you know, being some kind of a sexual piece of stuff you know it's like we are people and we should have equal rights you know and that's something that ireland needs to to kind of get stronger on the women need to be you know respecting themselves and not letting men exploit them in any way or not letting themselves be exploited you know that whole kind of erotic dancing crap i mean that belongs in a place and it's called a stripper bar or an erotic dance club but i just thought it was kind of weird having it in front of these little kids and all to me that's not cool did you think jamelia was jealous of kelly I think that she was intimidated by her beauty. Um, Kelly is young, 21 years old, incredibly beautiful. She's a beautiful voice. And she's also one year off a degree in music in UCC, so she's actually educated as well uh, beyond that. you know. So I do think, yes, that th th there certainly was an element of cattiness. Instead of sorority and supporting sisters, sometimes girls can get catty and not support each other. you know. And it's an, it tends to be these girls as well that do feel a certain pressure to have their bodies and their knockers hanging out and all this kind of stuff for some reason you know strong women stand up for their sisters sorority you know Eileen where did um, Dolores when I say where she, she obviously got it from you this strength of, 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 of being a woman and feminism and all that was she like that growing up yes she was I was a tomboy yes I just tomboy. always felt we should have the equal she rights was. to boys and men and you know why should we be tarty yes you know and it is sad because the girls that like um that were like doing the erotic dancing and all, they're only youngsters. And I just, again, as I said, like even like in, in North America, if there's a page three girl, she's actually where, she doesn't have her nipples out. That's completely not. They wouldn't, that's, they would go nuts over there because it wouldn't be accepted in that society. It's a lot more, you know, as it's, it, there's a lot more feminism over there, you know, and women won't put up with it. And there's a page three boy, there's a guy. So everything's equal. And I just think, why can't we have that in Ireland, you know? Why can't we? Why can't we, you know? Legalise gay marriage, open up, stop judging each other, you know? Go, let everybody just be, love each other. What's she like? Is it, what kind of daughter is she? She's a good daughter. Did she I ever give you... Alert, yes. Did she give you much trouble growing up? Oh, yeah. Uh, I ran yes. away and all, didn't I? She did. No, I, I know she didn't, to be honest. Just I was very strict, you know? Yeah. Quite strict, maybe. Probably... I'm not sorry, though. I'm glad I was. No, because if it you weren't, I'd strict probably be again. dead. No, you have to be... You have to have boundaries, and I think children like boundaries. No, they'll try to go as far as they can, test you. And um, was there ever a point, I mean, it's well documented that, that, and that Dolores had anorexia when she started off in the band. The band started to become so successful. Were you ever frightened when she went into that world? I was, yes. In Dingle, when you were in Dingle once, I think she was very thin that time. And I remember I forgot my purse. And I to go back to get my, wa my wallet, I left it somewhere, and I gone home. And when I went back, she was crying. And, well, she was come out to me, and she said, she asked me to help her. And she said, she was getting close to me, and then she kind of climbed up. No one can help me now. That was very sad that time. That was the time that we met. What did you say to that? What did I say to that? I just went and prayed about her, and I th thought that night what we'd do. And then I, she came home. That was the time then that I think it turned back from there. Yeah, at times that I went point, in, I that think, was a yeah. turning point. And, uh, I remember she you told me to smell the flowers, and I went down the road, and I actually it was the first time being on my own and out of a crowd and out of a hotel and away from cameras in like three or, three years or something. And I went down the road, and actually I was kind of getting panic attacks. I was afraid to be on my own because my life had been so consumed by people and cameras and crowds and 
had no normality. And I was actually nervous, but she said, smell the flowers. And I remember I smelled a rose and actually started crying because I hadn't smelled a flower for something like seven years. Yeah, I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten everything. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what made. I just didn't know what to do with myself. Like. What was the worst she got during that period? I'd say that was the worst now. And you know, I was very naive myself that time. I didn't understand anything about it, you know. I she didn't really know I had anorexia, I neither did I, no. really. And if anybody said later. it, I was defensive, you know. Someone said it to me. Yeah, but she had. You must be very proud how, how well she's done. <coughs> she is great. Came out of it very well. Very strong. And yeah, good and mother. then when I had Taylor, it's very that important, was brilliant. Well, I was going to say, not just as a, as, a, as a career, but also as a mother. As a mother, yes. Yeah. That was very important. I remember when she had Taylor. It was the best thing I ever did in my life, which is weird. It was the best moment of my life when my little boy, when he came out. And to me, that was like that, my God, this is what I was looking for. It's love. It's real love. All the love yes. of the crowd and the people and all that stuff. It just doesn't boil the pot, you know. I couldn't leave him. Was you a bit yeah. like that as a, as a mother, afraid to leave Dolores out of your, out of your arms? By the time she, she was very quiet, baby, she was no problem. But I, I'm just talking about in the sense of when you, was it in the not early the mid 60s you had a, a baby who was taken oh away yes from you. that's right can you, you tell were. us a bit about that story about my little baby well i had two the little one was only six months birth it was very tiny the little, first little one i never saw that baby it was just born in the ward in the hospital i didn't tell him i was in labor or anything you know because i knew there was no hope and uh, they just took that then and i saw it no more you didn't get a chance to say goodbye no not to see it or say hello or kiss him or anything. I and that. the same happened with Gerard then, but he was a fully, he was a big baby, you know. Yeah. And he was fully formed, but he had... He was nine pounds or something, wasn't he? He was seven pounds and he was, <coughs> you know, he was born the 23rd of February, February, January, and it was in June, 25th of March. Yeah. But uh, he was a fine baby, but he had a lot of complications and he died. But I didn't think he died when he was born. But, uh, they took him away then, I just saw him taking him away. They were trying to treat him in the ward, but I saw he kept turning the little head towards me, you know. The animal instinct, yes. smell his mum. And uh, I took, they took him away and I never saw him again then.